what we are going to do is we are going to test out the old school blue Ryobi drill driver. Now this thing is almost ancient and uh, and yeah, the, the truck has a little hard time of locking in the bit and yeah, we're going to have a little fun with this. And so the model number for this is P201. It is a half inch truck, 18 volt system. And uh, there are two speed settings. Speed one, it is zero to 400 RPM. And speed two, it is zero to 1600 RPM. Now the light is, I do not think this thing has a light, but it does have a magnet tray, a full size magnet tray. Let's see how, yep, it's actually pretty, quite strong. A little bit not as near not as strong as today's magnets but yes this thing is uh interesting I'm wondering what this is able to do we're gonna do a couple of uh, easy standard tests and we're gonna see what happens so yeah <laughs> this is gonna be hilarious alrighty so you know do I have that we have a half inch drill we're gonna do a four uh, Four amp hour first. There we go. It is locked. This thing is ginormous. Alrighty, so we are gonna we're gonna do this test. We're, we're gonna be on speed two, and we're gonna see. We're gonna do uh, four holes at once. But let's see what this can do with the two by four. All right, so ready, go. That's four. Wow. That actually that actually did better than I thought it would. Alright, so you know what we're gonna do. How do I Oh. Uh-oh. There we go. The locking system inside I think is wearing out. Alright, so ready? Go. It did it though. It stopped, but it did it. Whew. That didn't smell too good. That didn't smell good at all. Alrighty. Full, we're still using the 4 amp hour battery. We're going to use a 3 amp hour battery on the 4x4. Four four. Alright, so we're going to do two holes. All right, so ready, go. Wow, not bad, not bad at all. One more, ready, go. Not bad at all. Oh, I'm not going to lie, this is more powerful than I thought it would be. Alright, so let's switch over to the 3 amp hour HP battery. We're going to do two holes. Alright, so ready? Go. Wow, did it without stopping. And remember, I'm using a three amp, the special compact three amp hour HP battery. All right, so ready, go. Fantastic! Wow, battery is still at. Uh oh, we are smoking. Yep, I smell, I smell smoking. We are going to switch over to the one and one eighth. Let's see what it can do. We're, we're going to do two holes. All right, so we're clear. Ready, go. Oh, ready, go.
Yeah, see, it, it, it's through. It's stuck on a piece of wood underneath. And we are smoking, ladies and gentlemen. Ow. Yeah, it's through. We are smoking. All right, let's do it a little bit more. My goal, we are going to kill this drill. We are going to kill this drill. All right, so we are ready to go. Ready, go. It's through. It's stuck on that piece of wood. Yep, we are smoking. Let's see if we can focus in on that. Alrighty, so this is the first time using the 6x6, and we are going to see if we can kill this drill. Now guys, it's an old blue one. There's no reason for me to like really have this besides for a test video to see what it can do. And it's smoked by doing a simple task. So we might as well just kill it and end its life. So sorry if you guys don't like this, but you know, it's an old blue. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna do the as many holes until it stops working. All right, so ready? Go. All right, so let's see. Ready? Go. gloves yeah that handle is getting a little warm and there we go. it did that hole let's do one let's do one more hole all right so ready go It did it. It did it. Look at that smoke. Who? I'm actually gonna have to probably open up the garage. Hundred and thirty two degrees. Plenty of life on the 4 amp hour battery still. Let's do one more hole. One more. Alright, so we are ready. Go.
tough little cookie. All right, we're gonna do one more. One more hole. I think that's all I could, all I can do. All right, so ready, go. And and there we go, it died. Battery's still at three quarters, and it is dead. 157 degrees. 157 degrees. Let's actually take the battery out. Yeah, okay, the drill is dead. Drill is dead. So unfortunately this no longer works. So this did a, a terrible job when it comes to performing simple tasks. But that's all right though, it's an old tool. I'm pretty sure it had, it was uh, in its prime many, many years ago. It's 2019 right now, so this was probably made in like 2001. It's a, probably a 15 to 17 year old tool. But yeah, this thing is, uh, now it's just a dead tool. So this is actually gonna go to garbage. But first, what we're gonna do in a future video is we're gonna tear this apart and see what happened. I should've worn a mask with that, but it's okay that I didn't. I will next time, because I didn't realize that this was gonna just die like that. Even though I was, uh, after a certain point, I tried to make it die, and I was successful. But what made me do, uh, what made me have the decision to make it die was doing the two by four of doing a very simple task. It was smoking. It was just doing a, a half inch hole and the motor started to smoke. So just by doing that little task, I knew that this tool won't last long and I might as well do a video of killing it because this won't do uh, uh, versus videos in the future. So it's like, might as well just kill it off and save the space on my pegboard for a different tool. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do this really, uh, I just wanted to do this video really, really quick for you guys. And yeah, but we are gonna, in a future video, we are gonna take this apart, see what happened on the inside, see if it's a circuit board or wiring, or if the motor is just flat out fried. So that's pretty much it. So this is Dave and Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.